Hey, welcome back. Oh, wait, the purple thing. Oh, I can still find it. Is that it? I feel like it was going a different direction the first time, but... Maybe I can actually lock onto it now. Oh, I'm so curious. Should I still be accelerating toward it? Should I be slowing down, maybe? Yeah, I think I need to be slowing down. It's so hard to tell. No! Abort! You bastard! Let me get let me get to this thing. Okay, okay, now I need to slow down. Oh, I definitely need to slow down. No, I need to speed up. <laughs> I need to speed up. Where's it going? Come back here. I think I'm just like spinning in circles around it. Oh fuck, I'm never gonna catch this thing. I don't know how to do this. Oh wait, yeah I do. Oh fuck. Yes! Yes! I caught you. I caught you on camera. The space station. Do I get out? I guess I get out. I'm so scared of my ship just drifting off. Okay, let's do it. Oh, fuck. That's terrifying, actually. I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get lost in space here. Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Why is it so dark all of a sudden? What is this thing? It's pitch black. Can I get in? Hello? Am I allowed? No? This is not an entrance. Okay. Oh, man. I'm so scared of being out in space by myself. I don't think I can do anything with this. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with this. This one's a wash. This one's a wash. Alright, let's get back in. Whoop. Alright, perfect. How far away are we? Oh, we're just going toward the solar system. We are very far away, actually. the destination can I actually just lock onto it from here there we go that's better
Wait, how do we, how do we do the free look? Oh, it's down. I guess there's not really a whole lot to freely look at though. This autopilot is really cool. shot target oh that's awesome it can even like make mistakes and it tells you like whoops my bad I undershot it oh so brittle hollow like falls apart like from from the get-go brittle hollow starts falling apart why is the whole planet just like, what are the odds of that? I take off right as Brittle Hollow is just completely disintegrating? Oh, maybe I can get in from here. Do landing mode. Yeah. Oops, pardon me. Oops, sorry. Oops. Okay. Jesus! What happened? I'm in my suit. There's a tree sticking into my... ship. Okay. This is this a skeleton? Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh shit. I don't remember what to do about ghost matter. Is it. Scout launcher? Oh. Okay, so it's this stuff. It's in here. Somebody's been here. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all of the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside this ruined building with trees growing out of it. it doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Oh fuck, right, the, the whole plan is falling apart. I should probably try and hurry. Okay, so the building with trees growing out of it. There's a path? Gravity crystals? I guess I can't use those. Maybe they're broken. Okay, another skeleton. Alright. That's really disorienting. Jetpack is not very strong. Oh, I hear the banjo. 
Huh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. It looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is the Gravity Canyon. Oh, is a Gravity Cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing. I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. Okay, so... I don't know where we are here. This map looks good, though. I have to get from the north... Oh, no. I have to get from the center to one of these, and then they lead to the southern outpost, I guess? Is that what that means? Maybe, um... What's this guy's name? What's this guy's name? Doesn't say. The Hanging City. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, that's really cool. What's this one? Gravity cannon. Okay, we'll, we'll check out the gravity cannon after we talk to this guy. Quantum knowledge. Oh, cool. I guess we'd want it to go that way, because that's where we are. Oh yeah, it's it's super falling apart. Well, I don't have a lot of time. Hey buddy, Rebek. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere in my little scout. Oh, it's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh, <laughs> that'd be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you do find, if you do find, learn something new about the Nomai, though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean. Uh, where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Uh, which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um... 
If you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. Okay. Didn't I already ask this? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all timber hearth Scott right now. Brutal Hollow is rich with Nomai history, that's why I'm here. The Splendid is an absolute treasure trove of culture, science, or history and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian, or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? Alright, see ya. I think it's fucking rude that I didn't get an instrument. Well, we're about to die soon, I think, so might as well just go this way. I wonder why there's a branching path if they both lead to the same place. It's strange. Okay. Shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, so much for that, I guess. Did I just get shot off into space? I don't know what is happening at the center of the black hole here. What? Like, where am I? It's just, it's like, I can't even comprehend what I'm looking at. I am just in space, actually. Ow. I have no idea where I am. Oh, fuck. Get in here. Move this ball. Move this ball right now. What have I done? I've trapped myself. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh. Uh. Hello? Ember Twin Projection Stone. Here? Here? I don't know what this means. Can I move this? It looks like I need to turn it. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Oh, sweet! So the black hole is not just death. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. Well, I gotta reread -read this. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window. Okay. What is this one? If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Okay. Cool. Uh, do we go up or down? Oh, I guess this is, we are up. So we, we go down. <laughs> right. Oh, does this like measure like when it's, oh, that is so slow, but it is rotating. I think. Am I just making that up? No, it's not rotating. Is it rotating? <laughs> it's so slow if it is. But that must be like when it's aligned. Is when that arrow lines up. I'm taking this. 
Is this where I drop it? What have I done? What have I done? Get that out of there. Shit just started moving. We're moving. Um, where are we moving? Oh shit. We did it. We're back. Nice. And I still got my little tablet here. Return, return warp status. Charge. Step onto warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Departure time. Arrival time. Read this shit. So we're on the North Pole right now. Cool. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to sh schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Oh. Did the sun always look like that? Um... Ooh. It's broken. The hanging city. We can't get to it from here. Okay. What about this? To our friends on Brittle Hollow. I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our, des our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anana's original design, but as long as what we've built works, I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be a an equipment error somewhere. I feel like something just changed. Oh, fuck. Quick, 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 quick! I'm returning to the White House Station. If you and Brute meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Why does the sun keep exploding? Uh, I think I gotta return to the North Pole to continue my quest. So what, maybe I should be investigating this thing, like whatever just got exploded there because I can't do anything with the satellite that launches out of it but maybe I can see what this thing is oh but that's really close to the water planet it's actually orbiting the water planet never mind I don't want to go there okay we are flying out into space. That's good. That's what we want. And autopilot. And I'm going to do some flips on the way. I'm sure the gravity 
of Timber Hearth is affecting the autopilot, it's probably not gonna do very good. Also, I'm <laughs> probably not helping it by flipping around so much. Okay. Let's go over here. I'm gonna ignore this thing for now. I think this is where I was, right? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was here. Okay. Get out. Get out! Give me my suit. Wait, what was that? Pre-flight checklist. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Translator auto equip. Yeah, I like that. Freeze time. Freeze time while talking to others. Yeah, let's do all that. I uh, that's good. That's <clears throat> just a little bit better for like recording, I I think probably. Okay, so this is where I started. This doesn't have anything to tell me. I hope the wall is still like all... Oh, it's not. That sucks, because like, I feel like I'm gonna forget where I was at some point. Okay, I'm returning to Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic. Don't tell Kasava. This is wonderful news. Oh wait, let's reread this one. Our friends on Brittle Hollow, Whitehall Station, right? This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Do should I remove these scrolls? Should I like be collecting them or something? I don't know why I would, so I guess I'm not going to. Oh. What is all this? So that's the symbol for the planet, Brittle Hollow. <gasps> oh man, my slate! I guarantee you I have to get that slate back and put it here. Oh, I was so close to, to doing the puzzle! <laughs> Shoot! I don't even remember where I got it. Oh, it was in the White Hole Station. I know what to do. I'm ignoring everything else, even though like it's really cool and I want to see what it is. I feel like I'm never going to progress anywhere unless I just focus on a single task, you know? Okay, so that's the station, right? That's where I'm going? Oh, <laughs> that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> yeah, this is the White Hole Station. I don't think I can bring my ship in here though. Oh, I should have left the ship on Brutal Hollow. Shoot, that was dumb of me. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just get out. Grab this. I'm sure this is what I need. There. Drop number. Oh. Oh right, this is the teleporter. I gotta wait for it to line up. 
Or it could just... I think this speeds it up for some reason. Just... I think this just spins the whole place. And then it speeds up the rotation here. Boom. I'm a genius. Step on warp receiver. I don't know where that... I don't know what that's talking about. Oh. Can I just step back into it? And go back to the station maybe? Maybe that's what it means. Okay. Hopefully I'm right here. Yeah! Look at that. I don't know what that does. Maybe I should put it in this one. They seem like they're the same thing. Oh, fuck. What the heck? What is this? Oh, maybe this unlocks a writing on the wall? Hang on. Yeah, okay. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brita Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehole station. Oh, that's kind of weird. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brita Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broke several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all our beliefs about the nature of time. Huh? I hope so too? What? How is that a response to this? Whatever. Poke. As Pi is confident, the reading is a inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at a high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update, Poke. The high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. We need to see Yo, you need to see this. High energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Where's Ember Twin? Is that the little tiny thing? Is that what this is? Ember Twin? No. Hollow's Lantern. Oh, right. These. Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Okay. So there's a high energy lab there. Gotcha. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I... I think I need to read these differently. I think I need to go, like, back and forth between the different branches. Rather than just following one line all the way to the end before moving on to the next one. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure, measure time to such a small degree? Oh, maybe. Okay, so now we take this back out. Now we put this back in here. Get out of it? Oh, you have to stay in it, okay. So, this is just like a view. We're on the Ember Twin. And this must be the high energy station. So that's just like a preview or whatever. It's not. I can leave this. I don't need that anymore. Okay, um, let's go up here. Shit. Huh. 
Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? This is... F I hate their method of writing. <laughs> I hate the branching text. Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. The, this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend hollow lanterns for nights at a time. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I str I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. So there's a second moon. Where? There's a ghost moon. Is there more buildings here to search? Um, doesn't really look like it. I can't really even tell to be honest like everything is so close I can't really tell what's a moon and what's just another planet out in the solar system I think uh, seems like we might be done with the North Pole my ship is way out in space I guess I could get back to it though if I just jump into the black hole right Or go back through here, actually. Yeah, look at that. Oops. Oh, I have to get up there. Shit, that was too high. ship did you miss me all right fuel jetpack return suit buckle up where are we going going back to brittle hollow i think where is it i want to try and find it without the map oh this is it I'm gonna do no autopilot. mistake I've made a mistake abort <laughs> abort we're gonna have to orbit <laughs> okay <laughs> we, we overshot it a little bit oh come on get there get there oh I'm pushing the wrong button okay hang on We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So there's a secret moon here, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, that must be, um... The other guy's ship. I don't know why I can't remember his name at all. Can I steal the ship? No, I cannot. It's locked. Locked up tight. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs. And it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would have barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I, uh... I haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I don't know, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were, if there were one, P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Okay, so we, I think we gotta re retrace his steps. Because we don't know how to get in here either. Um, I think the sun's about to blow up anyway. And I need to call it. So I guess, um, I guess <laughs> we'll just do like, it seems like Probably like two sun explosions per episode is is about the length they're gonna be. I don't know exactly how much time that is. Okay, he was saying something about the equator. I don't know where we are. How do I see that? If I get out, it shows me. Okay, I'm close to the equator. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a platform there. Oh, shit. I'm gonna hit that. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. <laughs> hey, my ship. How did it get here? Oh, it fell in too. Okay, let's let's heal up. Well, that was unfortunate. I don't think I I think I'm running out of time. Oops. Uh, I think the sun's about to explode again. It's getting pretty red. seems to be quite a bit of um, brittle hollow left which makes me think maybe it's it's fine just like just scanning around seeing if I missed anything up here any buildings or something but uh, it looks like I got them Looks like I got them all, so... Let's try and get inside. Or see what this thing is, actually. Maybe this is what he was talking about. Oops. Are we good? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impacts. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape, escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch! The moon is approaching again. 
Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Huh, okay. What is this thing? Unidentified signal nearby. Is that, um... That guy that I can't remember the name of? I know it started with an N, but that's all I got. So this was their escape pod? This thing's huge! This is a Nomai ship? Are those life pods, maybe? Seems like there's quite a few of them. Alert! Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Hospitable. Begin flight log. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Launching escape pod 2. Now launching escape pod 1. Okay. So they, they had some other bigger ship. And they crash landed here. And apparently there's just a couple more escape pods. Presumably on the other planets. Emergency escape hatch. Whoa. These are the platforms they built? I guess they're old. <laughs> I should cut them some slack. They're old platforms. Oh shit. Some of them fall. Use caution. The black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Okay. Cool. Um. I feel like the sun is exploding. I can just, I can sense it. I can sense it. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat stable, it's safer than any we've found so far. Okay. That's so cool. Oh, there's more to it. Temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust that created by meteor impacts. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree, we're here because of the eye signal called because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will help keep us safer, that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Alright. So we're, we're getting there. So the Nomai are not from this solar system. And uh, they just crash landed here and rebuilt civilization, I guess. Should I go this way or should I go down here? Oh man, there's too many options. There's too many branchy paths. Let's start like from from the top, 
from the crust and, and work our way down. I don't like how far apart these crystals are. Where am I even going? There's nothing. I guess, I guess there. Maybe you have to come here earlier. Maybe the path starts getting destroyed if you don't come here earlier. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it then. I'm just gonna leave. We'll, we'll do it next time. Man, I really, oh, I'm spending too long on, on these videos. I need to quit sooner. This game's really interesting though. It's really fun. I don't think we can do two uh, sun explosions. We might just have to do one sun explosion per episode. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find the eye of the universe. This eye of the universe. Launch scout. How do I, like, rotate? Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so they, that's their ship. They received the signal from the eye of the universe, I guess. Uh, and then they got grabbed by the, the bramble. I think the sun's about to take me. And trapped. And they sent escape pods. One of the escape pods went into the bramble, and the other two landed on the twins, and then this planet. But one of them is stuck in the bramble, and there's some words there, and uh... Godspeed, gentlemen. <laughs> it's been an honor. different direction this time that's interesting okay um yeah we're we're done we're done that's it for today uh thanks for watching i really need to like focus on <laughs> on trying to it's just hard to end these because you have to die or the sun explodes um And it's, I don't know, it's, it feels wrong to just quit and, and lose the progress I made, even though I guess, like, technically, n you never make progress, because, like, everything resets anyway, so maybe I should just quit. Because what difference does it make, right? Um, but yeah, sorry for the super long episodes. Or maybe you like it, and then you'll be disappointed when I bring them back down to 30 minutes, I don't know. Uh, but th thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>